Um, hi, Henry and yeah. Jonah. Purple Jump Privacy. My question is, I would like to have an off-site backup solution. What are some good end-to-end -end encrypted cloud services? Um, I guess I'll share right away that like my core off-site backup for a lot of my things is ultimately like my Synology NAS, which backs up to the cloud with end-to-end -end encrypted cloud storage. Um, so that is like my ultimate off-site backup. But in terms of other options that you might be looking at, I do in some ways consider like Proton Drive, NT Photos, iCloud with advanced data protection. Those are also kind of offsite backups as well um, because they do live in the cloud. They're not on your computers. And so I think that all the options that you shared are pretty decent. Proton Drive, NT Photos, iCloud with advanced data protection, they all give you end-to-end um, -end encryption. They all give you a place where you can securely store things. And I would say if you really want to maximize things and utilize an open source ecosystem that's not tied to the Apple ecosystem, Proton Drive plus NT Photos is pretty good. Um, and I think it depends what you really need, though, because NT Photos is more of like a Google Photos replacement, whereas as of right now, Proton Drive does support photos, but it's more of just like a massive SD card photo storage solution. I would just, uh, I, I'm a big proponent of, like you said, the Synology NAS solution or just self-hosting, that kind of thing. Um, I left a reply to another forum post uh, yesterday night um, with like a setup of how to have like a three to four hundred dollar NAS and like cloud backup solution that's end-to-end -end encrypted all in like one thing using Synology services. Um, and that will get you like a pretty nice setup with four terabytes of local storage, that kind of thing, which if you're going to be using this NAS for like five, 10 years, the per year price of that is actually like a lot lower than any of these cloud services are going to be. And you get the benefit of, you know, having it all hosted yourself without having to deal with all these cloud services. But if you're looking for a cloud service solution, NT Photos is um, a great solution. And all the other options that you mentioned as well are perfectly acceptable. Yeah. And the nice thing with the Synology solution is you have a lot more customizability, right? Like you can get the exact amount of hard drive space that you want to, that's tailored to your budget. You can change the quality of the drives that you purchase and the speed of them. Um, I think you even, you had an ultra budget version. I think I saw your post where you have like a less nice NAS with a, like, you know, a kind of weak CPU, um, but it would still get the job done. And then also I think your suggestion is with Synology C2, which is definitely, I think yep. a little bit more expensive than some of the other cloud providers that offer similar features, but it's not as nicely integrated. Um, and so, yeah, like you just have a lot more flexibility and you're not tied to a random subscription cost increase if that ever happens with any of these services too. Um, Absolutely. Well, I will say that uh, C2 is actually, if you're looking at the 300 gigabyte or the one terabyte plan, it's actually a really compelling offer just for backups. Um, when you start paying like per terabyte and go past one terabyte, it does get a little more expensive than some of their alternatives. But um, for basic like home photo use, the, the person I was replying to didn't even need a terabyte. So it's a perfect oh, wow. solution. Um, wow. Yeah, I did use C2 for a while and I can definitely say it was a really good experience. Um, but it was expensive. That's why I moved away from it because I was using like five, six terabytes with all our video storage that we have back here. Yeah. Um, and I then mean, I, was I like, back up like 40 terabytes to the cloud. Yeah, so that's I crazy. I don't know how you have 40 terabytes of data. Like like my five to six I terabytes I'm talking about. That's all I can afford to back up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that's crazy. I have like 80 terabytes. <laughs> but how? Like five to six terabytes for me includes like tech lore stuff. Like that's all the video files that we work on and the project files that go along with the videos and like go incognito and all these other crazy. I don't know how you have 80 terabytes. Like, what are you doing? It's getting expensive. Yeah, I just had to replace an 8 terabyte drive with a 16 terabyte drive because <laughs> I, I was at like over 90% usage and it was giving me warning. So now I'm back to a cool 80% usage. Oh, dude, <laughs> nice. Good for you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> It's a pain. <laughs>